welcome to the EPS Water Treatment Installation and Servicing Guide. Here we have a typical water treatment installation. In this system we have a pH correction unit, a sand filter and an integrated UV disinfection kit. When installing a water treatment system it's important to note a number of items. Ensure the system has been sized correctly to the flow rate. Ensure there is sufficient backwash flow rate for the system you have selected. Always have sufficient space for your water treatment system. Always place the water treatment equipment before plumbing. And always ensure you have the sufficient pipe work diameter. Half inch pipe is not recommended. Ensure that the incoming pressure is between three and six bar. If your pressure is too high, fit a pressure reducing valve. If your pressure is too low, fit a booster system. Go to multiboost.ie for a selection of booster systems. It's important that a bypass is installed for service and maintenance. Always allow sufficient air gap for your drain. It's advisable to install a pressure gauge and sampling point before and after a water treatment system. This particular model is an isolation valve, pressure gauge and sampling point all in one. With the integrated UV kit, the inlet is on the filter side with the outlet on the UV side. When installing the backwash pipework, always take into account number one, the size of the pipework and number two, the distance between the unit and the discharge point. These are the steps to service the control valve. Isolate the valve. I'm going to put the unit into regeneration to relieve the pressure. Disconnect the power. Remove the cover. Disconnect the power, meter and motor cable. Remove the electronic board. Remove the drive cap using the clack spanner. The drive cap holds the main piston and regeneration piston. But the drive cap contains the main piston and the regeneration piston. Remove the spacer stack. Clean the inside of the valve. Insert the new spacer stack and insert the drive cap assembly. Tighten the spacer stack using the clack spanner ensuring not to over tighten. Refit the electronic board and connect the power, meter and motor cables. Refit the front cover. Power up the machine and open the isolation valve. 